Well, I woke up this morning to the news that many, many, many tech guys often come to. I waited many years to buy a new drone, and today they released the updated version of the drone that I just purchased. Um, interesting. I wasn't expecting them to be updating it quite this soon, but I guess it kind of makes sense, especially with this being such a popular model and being priced where it's at. So I thought I'd just give you a quick run through of why I really didn't care once I read through the specs. Um, this is the Air 2. I purchased it about three weeks ago. I bought the Fly More combo, so I got the bag and the batteries and all the extra goodies, um, which got me pretty jazzed because I was replacing the Mavic Air, or the Mavic Pro, sorry. And just to be fair, I never, ever, ever would have uh, replaced my Mavic Pro had it not broken through several crashes and my inability to fix it and the cost to fix versus buying a new drone. So that brought me to this. I waited a long time and finally bit the bullet and bought it. And then fast forward to today, the Mavic Air 2 S comes out with a few tweaks and features that are improvements. And they're all improvements. I'm not going to sit there and knock on them for what they are. Um, this goes 10 kilometers, the new one goes 12. This has whatever one third or whatever sensor, the new one has a one inch sensor. Um, it does 10 bit, it does 12 kilometers range. It, like there's a few things that it does a little better and it has uh, another axis of uh, optical avoidance uh, for crash detection, which is all great stuff, really nice. Um, and when I was reading it, I was preparing to be a little bit more heartbroken than I was because as much as I love having the latest greatest, I don't need it. But if it was a huge improvement, then I would have been like, oh man, I should have waited a couple more weeks and whatever. But at the end of the day, I didn't really care because once I read through all the specs and everything, it's all minor improvements. It's little things and not how I use the drone. I never max this drone out. Um, 4K 60 frames versus 5.4K. Uh, I have a 2017 iMac with pretty good specs, 8 gigabyte graphics card and it renders and does things really well, but it works to wor work with this footage. Why would I need more? Like I would need a better computer to, to then utilize and understand what I'm getting myself into from there. Um, and then as far as the drone flying, I've been flying drones for three or four years now, and you learn a lot, especially coming from the earlier ones that only have so many crash detection sensors, and now I'm moved up to more, so I'm flying it like I flew the old one, even though the new one's helping me out even more. So 12 kilometers of range is great, but in Canada, if you have a drone license, you are not allowed to fly out of range and you have to, like, there's so many rules that another two kilometers out of range is somewhat of an irrelevant statement. And I don't even know when or how you would utilize that um, without having a panic attack because your drone is 12 kilometers away. That's from where I live to the next city. Like, it's, it's a ways. Um... So yeah, I don't know. It, it was really interesting to read. Um, I I have no regrets buying this now that I've seen the upgrade. Um, and the other thing is, it's another like 100 or 150 bucks or something for the drone. US converted to Canadian, it's 200 and a bit, which would have put me over budget. At the end of the day, I'm just still super impressed with the Mavic Air 2. I don't think you could go wrong with either one, but this, I mean, for being even cheaper than the new one, absolute bargain. That's it. Still a happy camper. Till next time, drive safe, take care, and behave, as always.